prison hits, who it happens to, and why it happens. So, in the prisons, the majority of people that get hits took out on them are people that's either got beef on the outside that takes it into the prisons, or it's people that have gotten themselves into debt mainly through drugs and they're not paying the bills and that's why they get a hit took out on them and what normally happens when they get a hit someone gets a hit took out on them people tend to know the type of people who to go to to do the hit and that's normally it's the majority of the whether well, the majority of the time it's the people that have got nothing they've got no money but they're known for being dangerous and they don't they don't give a fuck to be honest <clears throat> and what normally happens is they get paid in drugs to do it because they're drug users as well they'll do anything to get a fix so the majority of the time they're actually going around saying um is there anybody like is there anybody that wants done in and they're actually just looking for it because they're wanting the drugs because the drug users they're dying for a bit of dope or whatever a bit of air uh, and what the drug of choice in prison it seems to have changed a little bit over the years but it was subbies subotex um just for those of you that don't know what subbies are it's um they're called the real name is buprenorphine and i think the these tablets were brought out for heroin users it's like a substitute it's to stop them from rattling but this tablet actually when it's abused and taken crushed up into powder and sniffed it actually gets the person off the head and it's similar to heroin the effects of it so this little tablet what's supposed to help people from withdrawals believe it or not this little tablet is enough to get 10 people high and off the heads and that's how long like one of them little tablets lasts can last you a few days um so that's that was the drug of choice subbies heroin not so much but it is in the bigger jails and the high securities and also now where the prisons are overrun with it which is spice now I'm not sure if the American viewers that are watching this know what spice is. Um, what it is, uh, it's green powder. What you smoke. It's what you call the psych. I think they call them. Is it psychedelic? Psycho? Yeah, uh, psycho. I can't remember the real name for it. But what happens is when they smoke this little bit of dust. It's like green dust. When they smoke this little bit of dust, mamba, I think it's called, I can't remember to be honest, there's that much of it going around different names of it, monkey dust, because they, they spray it onto letters as well, spray it onto paper, and then you smoke the paper and it gives you that same effect. But what happens is when they smoke that, it mongs them out, turns them into a, like a zombie, they're out of it. And that's normally the drug of choice at the minute in the prisons. But that's what they used to use to, to pay people to, take, to do hits on other people. So they would pay people one subby to go and give someone a Mars bar and that's a slang term for a slice on the face so you get cut from here to here with a razor blade and it's called a Mars bar and the reason why it's called a Mars bar because it rhymes with scar Mars bar scar give him a Mars bar on his face that's what they call it and that's what say if someone's debted up they're in debt and they haven't paid the drug um, debts Someone will go up and pay somebody a subby or a half a subby to go and give someone a Mars bar and then they'll get a big slice or a big stripe down the face. Sometimes uh, the more brutal ones, what I've seen, is a double Mars bar. So a double Mars bar is you get a steer toothpaste, toothbrush, and you put two melted razor blades in. So you've got two razor blades either side. So when it cuts your face, there's two big slices and they can't stitch it because if they try and stitch that one, the other one opens. So they're left with a big, massive open wound on the face. Naughty scores them ones, the Mars, double Mars bar. But um, the type of people that do it, like I say, is um, people that are drug users that have got nothing. And there's any amount of people that, that'll do it, take these hits out. Yeah, and some of the other hits are because of beef that's happened on the outside. 
but it's the same sort of thing. But sometimes the um, the price might be a bit more, more something more around around about the five hundred pound mark. You can put a hit out on someone for five hundred pound, where someone will get five hundred pound sent to the family or sent into them. Then they go and do it. This is this could be people that aren't using drugs, but some people that they sat in jail and they've got no money. I'm the dangerous people, and they'll do it just for the money. Um. So normally what happens after someone's had a hit took out on them, what normally happens is, see the person that's done the hit, if they get caught, they get tucked down the block, they get moved, they get extra charges. And um, two seconds here, the worst, uh, the worst ones, what's the worst ones that I've seen? When I was in Franklin, I seen two like really serious ones. I've mentioned it, one of them on my other channels, I'll not mention the lad's name again. But um, he was on the wing and he was bullying a few people and he was going around, he was taxing the drug dealers. Um, and he got a coffee jaw, smashed coffee jaw full of chilli powder rammed in his neck and it got twisted while it was in his neck and all the chilli powder went into the wound so it stung him as well. That was a bit of a naughty one. And another one I've seen, uh, another lad hadn't paid his drug debts whilst I was in Franklin. And we were coming up the walkway, and the lad had a big spike, it was about six inches long. Metal spike that had been sharpened up, and he just come running up behind the lad, and just went bang, stuck it in his neck. The spike went all the way in his neck, he pulled it out, and he just kept on jogging past him. So he coming up behind the lad, jogging away, and he just went bang, stuck it in his neck, and just carried on jogging. Blood squirting out of his neck. And that was a, uh, that was a bit of a bad one, but that one again, that one was over a drug debt and I think that one was money, he got sent money to him but um, it's not just the cons and the other prisoners, like the other prisoners that get hits took out on them it's the screws as well the officers obviously when the officers have been intimidating or bullying people on the wing and they get fed up with it or they feel as if they've been getting victimised and these whoever it is will put a hit out on the screw and what happens when you get a when the screws get a hit put took out on them? It's not actually a Mars bar, a slice or anything, because it's not very often you see that or hear of that because of that type of thing lands you. Whoever uh, whoever is responsible for doing something like that is going to get double figures in prison. So what they would what they would normally do is get a bucket full of shit and piss. This is normally being kept over the mo a number of days until the bucket's like half full of shit and piss. And um, whoever it is who's took the hit will go up to the screw, go up behind them or whatever, or go up in front of them and with the bucket of shit and piss and just bang, just chuck it straight in the face and they're covered from head to toe in piss and shit. And they walk, I've seen it one time and he's walking down the landing, yeah, just spewing like, spewing all over the place because the smell even the lads on the wing, the smell of that, because some lads used to get the pads shitted up as well. Um, see, like you wanted someone moved off the wing, someone would go up and shit the pad up, chuck shit and piss all over the pad, so they had to move that person, because the pad was there. Uh, the pad was then sealed off, they couldn't use the pad until it was like come and fumigated, uh, it got cleaned out properly. But that was another instance, yeah. Um, but the smell that comes from that is absolutely, well, you can imagine it, absolutely disgusting. So, but that's, imagine getting that chucked in your face. Because <laughs> these screws, obviously, they wear white vests, air yeah, white shirts. So imagine a white shirt and it's covered in shit and piss. But, um, yeah, that's, that's mainly it for the hits in prison and what normally happens. And that's like the worst ones that I've seen. But there is a... Uh, hits that get took out on people in the high security nicks, like bigger hits, where people will get paid. I've seen, well, I haven't seen, but I've heard of people being offered as much as 20 and 30 grand to like actually go and do a proper hit and like cut, cut the throats. I never actually seen any of that happen. I didn't see anyone get the throats cut, but I've seen, like I see, I've seen a lot of, of naughty things. I've seen um, when I was up in Ackleton, someone pool balls in the sock, put about four pool balls in the sock, tied in a knot, bang, bang, over the head. That happened a few times. 
Yeah, another one we used to use table legs. Yeah, I've seen a few lads go in a pod and smash someone all over for a um, smash them all over, sorry, with table legs. But that was the type of things that's uh, that's mainly the type of things that's happening when people are getting hit took out on them. But yeah, uh, I hope you like the content. If you do, like and subscribe. I'll be uploading plenty more future videos. But um, a lot of my subscribers, a lot of the views on my videos, uh, people that aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you are watching it, will you please hit that subscribe button just to boost my channel up there even more. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a lovely day. Take care.